Pearl 2 video production systems support NDI and Alpha Channel, making it possible to add singular live graphic overlays to your live productions. Like this one. That's just a simple example of what you can do using NDI. You could add a dynamic logo, a countdown timer, crawler text, whatever your live video needs. One of the great things about Singular Live is that an operator can log in from anywhere and launch graphic overlays remotely. Let's look at how simple that is to set up on a Pearl 2. I am going to remote into a PC that we've got set up on our network here in the studio. Now, I've already got the Singular.Live NDI Recast app downloaded onto this computer, but if you need to find it, you can just head to Singular.Live slash NDI, get that downloaded and installed. Now we're gonna start up the application itself. Now I've got that running, so that's good to go. Now I'm gonna to have to go into our Singular Live dashboard to find our output URL. So within the output manager on the Singular Live dashboard, we're gonna find our controller here, open that up and copy our URL itself. Back in the app, we're gonna change this over from test to manual URL. I'm gonna paste in that URL that we just copied from the Singular dashboard. I'm gonna start that up. Now, a couple of things to note on here, we've got a resolution of 1080p at 30 frames per second. You could lower that or uh, raise it if you'd like, depending on your production needs. And we do have GPU rendering turned on. All right, so now back in our Perl UI, we're gonna go ahead and add this as a NDI input. Super simple step here. Now that the Singular Recast app is running on our computer on the network, we'll be able to find that really easily with our add input section in the Perl UI. So we're gonna add that input here and just rename that to NDI Singular. So it'll be easy to find, save that new title. And you can see it's already connected right away and we've started that uh, NDI connection, that handshake with the Pearl 2. Now, a couple of quick settings within adding, we're gonna turn off the time code, so ignore time code, and hit apply. Now, this is a pro tip here. I'm gonna use this blank PNG. So this blank PNG is actually formatted at 1920 by 1080 as a blank image. So there's no actual image properties within this file, it's just a blank image. So if we have our NDI Singular Recast app turned off, then the Perl is not gonna be displaying a no signal image, which will help us as we're using NDI Singular as a overlay. If you'd like to learn more, you can reach out, we can help you out with that. All right, so now we've got that added in as a new source. Now we're gonna add the input within our layout editor itself. So within the live stream channel, we've got a couple of different layouts that we can add that new transparent uh, NDI input. So we're gonna add in the NDI singular on the top layer so that when we launch our titles, they're gonna come in on top of the graphic and that uh, live video feed that we have. When we add a new source within Perl 2, it will automatically add the audio source as well that goes with the video. So we're gonna turn that off because it's not required Singular is not going to be sending any audio, but we'll just turn it off just in case. So we're going to take a look at our live stream coming out of the Pearl 2 in the studio. And over on the right hand side, I've got our NDI title controller with a few titles that we've loaded up for a live production that we're doing this week. There's our five minute countdown timer. So that's working. Also got a couple other titles just to experiment with here. Perfect. And those are all coming in really smooth on there. All right, and that's it. Just like that, we've got a new NDI input coming from our Singular Recast app, pulling down titles from the cloud, and we're good to go. For more about Pearl 2's capabilities, visit our product page. And if you have any questions about Singular Live, check out Singular's support portal. Thanks for watching.